has been working on laser trip mines, feature requested by our turbulent team in Montreal to help make the exploration of derelicts throughout the verse just a little more exciting and dangerous than ever before. One of the big things to work out besides proximity detonations was to properly physicalize any of the items being used to detonate them, like these boxes, so that they react to the force of the explosions themselves. Now these crates are currently at a high health value for testing, but you can expect them to be tuned just a little bit, so they too will be damaged or destroyed when used in this manner. And then of course, when physicalized damage comes online later down the road, the lifespan of these crates will simply be determined by things like material makeup, and construction type. While this test level is designed just to play with a multitude of ways for disposing of mines, this is also a pre-VFX pass, so you can expect things like the lasers and effects you're witnessing to continue to evolve beyond what you're seeing here. And because the team is smart and has played online video games before, they're also experimenting with the potential of Rube Goldberg chain reactions that will inevitably be created by players. Because why kill someone with a single explosion when you can use seven? That's what grandma always said. All right. <laughs> so this is really interesting. This is really interesting. Um, okay. This is really interesting. The, these, uh, these, uh, trip wires or trip mines that they're going to be adding, it seems to be a, a very interesting, um, gadget in terms of something to have to give to players to be a little bit more strategic but also what i'm noticing is the derelict um ships that we're going to be finding we're going to be finding these trip wires also in them and i'm going to assume that they're also going to make them a lot more Let's say the cargo boxes, right? Like these cargo boxes. Let's say you find a derelict and there's some cargo boxes in here and you find a lot of these trip wires in here. I'm going to assume that these boxes are going to be, are going to contain higher value items because the location is already dangerous, you know? So it's interesting. I like the fact that, you know, you can, you can use your, your, um, your pole tool hold different things different things into obstacles to push uh things out of the way um we're starting to see why they're putting they put certain things in earlier you know like like the the, the push pull attachment like two two three patches ago they put that in but now we're starting to see why you know what i mean so i'm starting to i can see why I can see why they put certain things in. Remember when they put in the trolleys for a patch and we realized like, what's the, what's the purpose of the trolleys? And then very soon we're finding out that medical gameplay is gonna be coming in and not the hospitals. They're gonna be trolleys that you're gonna be pushing around with certain equipment. You know what I mean? So, you know, CIG is intentional about certain things that they put in. It's just that they're not telling us the reasons why they're putting it in. They just want us to test it. You know what I mean? I like that, I like that when used in this manner. And then of course, when physicalized damage comes online later down the road, the lifespan of these crates will simply be determined by things like material makeup and construction type. That, that is fantastic. So that means um, you can possibly damage the content of those containers as well. So you have to be careful. It kind of makes things interesting when you're going out exploring, you know, you bring, you bring your medical gear, you bring, um the right attachments for your multi-tool you're gonna need um the cutter you're gonna need the the pull tool the, the tractor beam i think right that's what it's called you're also gonna need the medical attachment if you're not bringing a medical gun you know what i mean there's there's so much so it seems like as we're gonna be as we're moving forward with with the development of the game as you go out you're gonna need to plan your you're gonna need to plan your engagements you're gonna need to plan your adventures you know, which is going to be awesome, 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 awesome. Yo, in a box, what's going on, bro? How you been, man? You gaming on Saturday? Absolutely, absolutely. I'll be on, I'll be on this Saturday. All right, makes things more interesting. Bad joke, but uh, interesting concept with the trip mines. Absolutely. 
um i'll be uh it'll be interesting to see if you could buy them in store in the future i love to set them up in my ship to prevent potential pirates make sure you don't run into them <laughs> make sure you don't trap yourself in your own ship <laughs> but i think you know what i think they will make them i think i think they will put these in stores i'm not sure if they don't put these these uh trip wires in these trip mines in stores i think they'll be lootable in loot boxes you know so because if you if you if, if they put them in store then everybody's gonna go buy them and set them everywhere so i think they should just make them available in loot boxes or if you have specialized clearance somehow through maybe bounty hunting um you know having enough affinity in your in a uh with one of the orgs in in um for bounty hunting or something like that maybe they give you the clearance to purchase a trip mine um but if not i don't think they should make it accessible to everybody because then everybody's going to be setting them up everywhere and then it's going to be it's going to be like rust <laughs> you know what i mean yeah maybe um have them to be able to differentiate hostiles and friendly yeah if they could do that that'd be awesome if they could do that that'd be awesome 